Good day, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. Thank you very much for joining us in the latest in our webinar series. Are you seeing the most potential, the full potential out of the <coughs> products? My name is Richard Northover. I'm the manager at Navtor UK. Um, the aim of this series is to spread knowledge and just ensure that everyone gets the maximum value out of the products in the marketplace. Just a little bit of housekeeping. The, the service we're using here is called 23. And definitely to get the best performance of that, you need to use Google Chrome. Um, we're gonna have uh, some questions and answer sessions at the end, so that's, that's lovely. We, we look forward to the participation. We have some handouts on this webinar. The handouts are obviously about today's topic, which is auto-routing, but also covers the full NavStation presentation. So how it links into the, uh, the overarching product. So again, thank you for joining. I'll move across briefly to show our agenda for the day. So the agenda for today is a quick uh, welcome message from Borga Hetland, our Chief Commercial Officer. Then I'm going to take over a demonstration, a brief demonstration of auto routing itself. And we're gonna follow that on by a full questions and answers session. And I really would ask that um, any questions, please send them in. We have a, a question function on uh, the right-hand side of the 23 platform. You can either ask a question or you can send a comment. If you ask a specific question, it'd be great because we're, we're able then to highlight and show that question. So please feel free to interact and send those over. So without further ado, I'm gonna now hand over to my colleague, Borga Hetland, who will give a brief welcome message. Yes, hello everyone, and uh, thank you, Richard, and also thanks to all of you for joining us here today. It's actually my birthday, so I should be in, uh, at home celebrating, but I actually prefer to be here with you. Uh, we have uh, developed a lot over the last year, and we have had um, uh, also a growing the number of employees. Uh, as you all know, we acquired the uh, Engine Marine back in March, where we got uh, digital logbooks. We have also launched uh, two new versions of uh, NavStation. NavStation 6.1, that included the port database, it included the AMVA reporting, it included different uh, layers, load line layers and time zone. And today we're going to talk about uh, authoriting. And authoriting is something we have been, uh, let's say, wanting for a long time. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, we are very proud to present uh, authoriting to you. And actually, a, a small fun fact is that it is developed by uh, Aslak Dirdal. He was the man who also is a co-founder of Navtour, and he also founded CMAP Norway back in 1993 together with Tour. So Aslak, he is a brilliant guy, and he started looking into authoriting. Uh, I think. Uh, half a year ago, maybe a year ago. And uh, we are extremely happy with the outcome. And it's, in fact, you can say it's real AI because it's got a Slack inside. Uh, also remember that this is the first version of, uh, of uh, authorizing. So we have already made plans for, uh, let's say the next version. So it's, there's much more to come in this uh, authorizing. So again, thanks a lot for, for uh, joining and uh, I hope you appreciate it. And uh, back to you, Richard. Thank you very much, Burger, and happy birthday. I take it that was a birthday message coming in on your phone. So yeah, congratulations and happy birthday. So thank you very much. Um, today, we're gonna do a brief demonstration, but first of all, I'd like to move across and show the slide for NavStation itself, just as a reminder. So NavStation, what is it? Well, NavStation is, uh, is a combined product which is, allows optimal integration and presentation of a full array of digital navigation information. Effectively, it's everything in one comprehensive, intuitive platform. Everything, all the databases and permits are automatically distributed and updated seamlessly through Navtor's cybersecure nav box. NavStation is compatible with any standard of PC and monitor, 
This includes touchscreen devices, which is really important. So now station setting the scene is, is the software, the platform. And what we do is we add modules to that to enable further uh, integration. I'll move forward now, and I'm briefly going to hand across to myself. So I'm going to do a quick, uh, a rapid uh, close change, and you'll see me on the other side. So I'll hand across to myself. Now we'll go through the latest addition to NavStation software. This is the auto routing module, and I'll be briefing on how this works and the advantages of using auto routing for the navigator. Auto routing is accessed directly from the start menu or alternatively from the icon at the bottom of the screen. The auto routing menu consists of a search field with to and from ports. This of course could be the short code for the port or it could be the full port name and a comprehensive blockers list where you can select straights or passages to block depending on your preferences. Blockers can either be selected directly from a chart where icons are visible or from a list. In our example today, we are going to go from Milford Haven in Pembrokeshire, Wales, up to Aarhus in Denmark. The port position information is gathered from the port database, which is a recent addition to the NavStation software. This has quickly become popular with navigators. Now I'm going to perform a route calculation. NavStation will find the shortest route for this passage in just a few seconds based upon safe water. A generated route is drawn in the chart and you can save it as per any route ready for further passage planning. You can also focus on the entire route in the chart or delete the route suggestion. We can control how auto routing relates to certain passages when calculating a route by using the blocker list or selecting a blocker in the chart directly. The blocker icon will then turn red in the chart. A recalculation will update the route, which will now avoid the straight or passage blocked. With a list of auto-generated routes, comparing them is easy. The distance and duration are displayed for each route suggestion. The duration is calculated from the default speed, which is set in your passage planning settings. You can change the default speed in settings and recalculate to see the duration change according to the new speed settings. If we look at a passage, we will see how the route enters and sails through any traffic separation schemes. You can also focus on departure and arrival port to see how it follows the leading lines in and out of the pilot station. If you're deviating from a planned route and have received new orders for a new destination, you can quickly route from own ship position and redirect towards a new destination. NavStation calculates the new route, and then we're ready for further passage planning. If we make a route from point A to point B and focus on the destination, we'll see how the routing stops in the entrance to the harbour. You can route to a specific area within a port by right-clicking on the chart and select Auto Route to here. The destination position is updated with the coordinates and we are promptly routed the full way to the destination inside the port. There are also some customizable routing options. By selecting Object Info, we can choose to only use deep water routes. In the Settings menu, we can toggle this option. After a recalculation, the route will then stick to deep water routes. Now we'll look at the route editing mode. The freedom to route to and from any point, in addition to port to port routing, is an important advantage for our auto routing module. Let's say I have a route which just has two rough waypoints. I can route to a given waypoint, in this case by selecting waypoint 2. I can then select auto route to waypoint 2, and it will create all the waypoints necessary for a passage according to the traffic separation schemes. In our example, if we go to a final waypoint, we have the option to add new waypoint 
but also add destination. If we select add destination, add a port from the port database, we can then auto route directly to the destination. A short recalculation will follow and the full route will be displayed. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration on auto routing in NavStation. Thank you very much for passing back. Um, that was an interesting, uh, interesting one. And trying to change clothes that rapidly is very difficult. Just to wrap up, really, what we've seen there uh, with auto routing module, what it does is automatically proposes a route from any position to any position. And I think we talked about um, from a, a port to port. We talked about berth to berth. But we've also talked about own ship to a position as well. So there's multiple arrays of, uh, of iterations that can be used. The principle of auto routing is based on the shortest route using open waters and routing along predefined lines in restricted areas, such as coastal waters, traffic separation schemes, and entrances to port. So that really, in essence, is what auto routing is all about. So thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.